this video, I'll show you how to manage participants and demonstrating how polling works. To invite people onto your Zoom meeting, you can click Alt-I or right here this icon, Invite Others. So you could invite um, a speaker to speak for your class through email through here or you can do for contacts or room system. I recommend by email or by directly using the URL link to send to the speaker. You can also copy the URL from right here and send it to your speaker or students. And students can also join the Zoom meeting through their Canvas too by going to the same module, Zoom, and in their current meeting, they can simply click Start to enter the meeting. To manage your participants, you can click here or Alt-U to open up the box. From here, you will see the list of the participants inside the Zoom meeting. So right now, I am the host and as a student, there is one more in this meeting. So you have the option to mute all of them, all the participants, and you can also unmute all of them as well. And in this option, you have more, so you can mute participants on entry. You can also have the option to play a sound every time someone enters the meeting. You can also lock the meeting so no new attendees can join the meeting once it's locked. So I'll set that for no. And you can have the meeting be merged onto the window here if you like to have it on the window. So I'm gonna start the video and right here and it, you can also manage your participants here. So on the top right hand corner with the three periods, you have the option to mute or chat and rename or make hosts, allow record there are other participants and you, also, you can also hide the video as well. You can also manage participants by hovering over their name to see the following options so you can mute and rename, mute and you can also chat, make host, allow record, rename or remove from the Zoom meeting. So participants can also raise their hand so I will show that through the other computer. So right now I've just raised my hand using the other computer to let the host know that the student has a question. And I recommend that all participants to use a profile picture so that you know who is the speaker and the student is speaking. And to enable to chat, you press Alt H or click here. And right here you could message to everyone or private message to an individual. And you can allow the options for allowing the attendees to chat with the host only or with everyone. Polls are used to gather information from the participants. So to enable polling, you click here, polls. You can either click edit or add a question. They both take you to the same web page. So for here, you could enter your title for the poll. So title, you can also type in your question here with 255 characters and you can have it single choice or multiple choice. So I'm going to type test for all of them, multiple choice, and you can answer one, two, three, four. And you can also add multiple questions for each poll. So I'll have another one that says test one. So, so right now I'm adding questions to the poll. And you click save. So right now, you've saved the poll and go back to your meeting. And now we have test polls for the students to take. So we click launch poll. And right now attendees are viewing it. So I would take the poll using my other computer. 
So I've just did the poll on using my other computer. Click here to end the polling. And you can also share the results with the participants. Make it stop sharing and relaunch polling. Thanks for watching.